Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about Resedronate for the treatment of osteoporosis. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our Resedronate paper pamphlets to follow along with this video. Resedronate is also known as Actinel. Now, Resedronate is usually taken once a week as a 35 milligram tablet or once a month as a 150 milligram tablet. There are three things you need to know to take Resedronate properly. First, you should take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and don't lie down after taking the medicine. Second, you should wait at least an hour before taking any other medication or eating or drinking anything. And finally, take it with a full glass of water. Never take it with anything else such as coffee, juice or tea. There are four things you need to do when taking Resedronate. First, to help build your bones, you need to take calcium and vitamin D. Your doctor will tell you the right amount of calcium and vitamin D for you. Second, Resedronate should not be taken during pregnancy or breastfeeding. Let your doctor know if you become pregnant or are planning pregnancy. Third, medicines like Resedronate have been associated with a very rare problem with the jaw bone. Now this problem has been seen after dental work. Let your doctor know if you develop sudden pain in the jaw. Finally, your doctor will monitor your response to Resedronate by testing your bone mineral density. This is usually done every one to three years. The most common side effect of Resedronate is stomach upset, pain, bloating, and nausea. Resedronate can rarely irritate the lining of the stomach, esophagus, or intestine. Resedronate can also cause headaches or bone, muscle, or joint pain. Now, if you're taking Resedronate, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason. For Resedronate, there are other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you develop stomach pain or trouble swallowing. If you're pregnant or planning pregnancy. If you develop new severe pain in the jaw. And finally, if you're having any upcoming surgery. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please visit our website at www.roominfo.com.